Oh. Shit. Good girl. Who's the most handsome puppy in the world? All I know it's you. Oh, look at your little stupid face. Hi, beautiful. Today, we're back watching some more people attempt to do a wolf cut. Wolf cuts are scary. People always go way too far with them. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of regret written on these girls' faces today. This video is by All Things Grace. We're going to give myself a haircut. For the longest time, I just wanted to like, just shave my head bald. Not because I'm having a breakdown, okay? We're not going full Britney. Britney can shave her head because she wants to, okay? Let's stop relating mental illness with shaving your head. Because women don't need to have hair. Sorry, I was triggered by that comment. Because my hair is so thin now, when I tie it up, it just looks like a rat tail. And I know it looks full now, but that's only because I brushed it. I saw the wolf cut hairstyle for a while and I was like, that looks really nice. I was waiting till my hair kind of grows back to, you know, the previous thickness it was. If this video doesn't go according to plan and it looks horrific, I'm just gonna shave it. I mean, at least she has a plan B. It goes bad, she's gonna shave it. I think she would look so good with a shaved head. Like, I'm kinda hoping the wolf cut goes bad so she has to shave it. So the parting should be ear to ear and it should meet your crown. Um, I have no idea where my crown is. Okay, I'm interested to see what technique she's gonna do. You can pull up all the hair to the top and cut it and then do another set and cut it and cut it. Or you can do like this two ponytail thing I've seen. I think she's gonna do that, which I actually haven't really like seen somebody execute that method correctly. So uh, let's see. I'm just gonna tie it in a ponytail and it should be like up here. The more she over directs the hair to the front, the shorter those sort of fringe pieces are gonna be. And she's gonna have a lot of framing around the face and a lot of length on the sides. So apparently you don't actually need to wash your hair to do it, I thought like damp hair would be advised. I would always advise to cut your hair when it's wet. Just do it, okay? It's the least you could do. She did in the beginning of this video say that her hair was thinning and that she doesn't have a lot of it. The thing with a wolf cut is that it gives you extremely short layers and extremely long length at the same time, which makes your ends look very, very thin. I think layering is great for thinning hair to make it look fuller, but when you're doing a wolf cut with extreme layering, I wouldn't recommend it. Medium or long length layers would look best on you to make your hair look more full and thicker without sacrificing the density at the ends. So I think up to here, and then if I do the other one, Okay, I mean, this feels a lot thicker than the bottom one. I don't really get this technique, to be honest with you. You're gonna get like your sh really short layers back here underneath your hair if you do it like this. So I wouldn't advise it. I don't understand it, but let's see. So in Paul's video, he said to cut it like around your eyebrow. Around your what? You could definitely cut it at your eyebrow, but whoa, those would be some short ass. Layers. I would advise you to start off longer and go shorter if you need to. That's gonna be really short if she does that. So I'm gonna, probably gonna cut, like the bravest I would go is up to here. Um, Even that is short. Oh, is she gonna really do that? Okay, let's cut it here. I don't know if these are actually hair scissors. I can tell you right now, those are not hair scissors. What is that sound? Oh my God. <sighs> she cut off so much hair. Oh my God, this is gonna be either gray or just tragic. I think it might be tragic. Your hair, bro. <laughs> I think I cut off too much. <laughs> Okay, now I need to point cut upwards. She's now point cutting. She's not even doing anything. If you're gonna point cut, there has to be a little angle to the scissors or else there's no hair. You're gonna cut one piece at a time. Okay, next up is this part of the hair. Maybe this much? The suspense on this is killing me. She's still going. She's about to cut the back section. I don't even know how she's like getting a guide for this. This is just like a random cut that she's about to do. The front is gonna be a different length. The back is gonna be a different length. She's gonna have layers underneath longer hair. It makes no sense to me at all. Oh my God, I think it's too short. Okay. The 
moment of truth. She's taking him out. This is gonna be so bad. I mean, I can't actually see. No! She has like one piece of hair at the bottom now. Shit. One, two, three. I mean, I don't hate it. I think I like it, you know. Oh, it's something. All this hair gone. Okay, I'm just gonna style this the way I do, which I usually just do like the bits. Do you know it'd be really nice if we could like blow dry it? Yeah, guys. This is it. I'm actually really happy with this. Turns out I don't need to shave my head after all. Oh my god, that looks so horrible tied up. Eee, it looks like a paintbrush. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you're thinking about doing a wolf cut as well, just do it. Okay, well that's how we're leaving it, I guess. I would have definitely preferred you to cut those ends off. Like those straggly ends, it's really fine at the bottom. And if you just did a little, like a two inch cut on there, like a uh, an inch and a half cut, it would actually look pretty good. And and then a blowout, like you said, ooh, it would just finish it all off and make it all come together. It wasn't that bad. It was just really scary to watch you do that. Gotta be honest. Up next, we have a video by Jessu Wong, I think. My hair is getting way too long, way thick as well. Her hair is so long. I'm gonna be trying the TikTok wolf cut method. I can create layers in my hair. And if you're wondering why my hair looks so f greasy, it's because it is f greasy. That's even better for the haircut because my hair is more stabilized. And since it looks uglier right now, when I take a shower, it's gonna look great. So it's gonna make the mindset a little bit better if I do mess up. That's an interesting point of view. I think this is a great idea for her though, because right now her hair is just one length. It doesn't have a lot of movement and texture and she needs some. We need some life in this hair. Let's bring it there. Oh my God, girl. Stop ripping your hair out. This is how my hair looks like after it's combed out. Look at that length! She has like a blanket on her head. I just want to say that my hair has no layers at all. It's literally just straight down. It's pretty boring. They tie it like this. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, she's doing the single ponytail method. I honestly prefer that one. I do. Uh -huh. I'm so scared. I'm scared too, but also excited. But also, I don't know. She's also not doing the over direction thing right. Like we're going this way, we need to go this way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Well, that wasn't very much hair. That's not that fun. Cut more! Now, what I'm gonna do is simply point cut. Maybe I should have done in smaller sections. All right, well, we're doing some point cutting, which I think she definitely needs because her hair is so extremely thick. There needs to be some point cutting in there or else it's just gonna look heavy and really like blunt and gross. And I just don't like that. Also, I just wanna say that I've never done this ponytail cutting method. I don't even see a difference. Definitely looks healthier. We are definitely not done. Okay, looks more or less the same. Let's cut off more length next time because that is going to do nothing. With wolf cuts, it's like you need to take off a lot of length or else it doesn't show. The next step we have to do is use this section. Oh, so she's doing like a multiple ponytail moment. She's doing the whole thing. She's taking up a little less the second time, a little less the third time, and then like trimming the bangs after. I got it, I got it, okay. I parted my hair. Oh my God, my hair feels so smooth. The sectioning's a little off. Again, it's really blunt. A separated point cut. Another cut down, some more point cutting, but it's getting better. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna take another smaller section. Okay, so this is the final layer that we cut. Okay. I see them and it looks a lot better already. 
we're off to a good start. These layers are too long, so I'm gonna have to cut it. She's doing it again. This was step one. You know what the problem is, I think? It's that I didn't cut enough here. It should be okay. I don't know. Like, I'm not mad. Like, I was just hoping for like a more of a dramatic change. I'm gonna actually make it more blunt. Oh! Now we're going in and cutting the length. That's a good idea, but the way that she did it was horrifying. She's like, do, do, do. like, when she pulls that hair back, it's gonna be all over the place. Okay. Like this. You feel? What language am I using? I don't usually talk like this. Okay, that is shorter than expected. The angle, because that is the longest part of my hair. Oh no, what is that? <laughs> my plan didn't work. This, I'm mean, like, it's kind of camouflaging. Cause now I want these sections to be shorter. Guys, this is like the 10th cut. Like she just keeps on going shorter and shorter, which I think is a good idea. It's just funny. Like there's been so much going on. I don't know where she's gonna stop. I think she's gonna end up with hair up to here, which would be cute. And then I think I'm gonna cut my bangs a bit more, kind of frame the face. Another one. More. Okay, so here's the aftermath. Um, yeah. Look how much hair she cut off. That's amazing, and I think she needed it, and I cannot wait to see the styled hair. That was how my hair looked like when it was fully dry. I did not style it at all. I am super surprised and, like, proud of how my hair just kind of, like, flowed down without even having to style it. Like, I literally just towel dried it, slept, and that was how it looked like. That looks so much better. Like, the hair isn't wearing you anymore. You are wearing the hair. It was a lot to get to where you got to, but you got there, and that's all that matters. Up next, we have a video by Miss Aliyah J. I'm gonna give myself a shag. We're gonna flip it, and we're gonna put it in a ponytail, a really high ponytail, so I'm gonna bring a lot of it to the front. Just like that. She is getting into the wolf cut and obviously she's wearing a wig. I don't know if you know anything about wigs, but they do not grow back and they are expensive, especially a lace wig that she is wearing, a human hair lace wig. I don't know which one is scarier, like fucking up your real hair or fucking up wig hair. One's expensive and one takes a lot of time to grow back. So we're gonna section it in threes in the ponytail. Honestly, I feel like this look, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? I feel like that's this, Bye. So here's the thing. When people put the second and third elastic on that ponytail like she has right now, I would recommend putting the elastic on when your hair is up like this. If you over direct the ponytail forward, you're gonna get that front area cut even shorter. I would rather avoid that. So now I'm gonna take some scissors. <laughs> You're gonna fuck up that wig. And that hair is so thick. How are you gonna get through all that hair? Do I cut it low or above? Above the elastic. That way the hair doesn't go everywhere and you just have a little ponytail of hair. I'm gonna cut it above. I'm gonna just say fuck it. Like, bingo! Ah! That scared the shit out of me. Ah! Oh, for some reason, this is just as scary on a wig. Oh, look at this. So I'm gonna take it down and see how it look first. I feel like I wanna take it down as I go cause I'm most likely gonna cut more. Okay, so 
<sighs> okay, so the cut is there. It's just the bluntness of it. Because this wig hair is so, so thick, you are gonna get the most choppy layers. You need to use thinning shears or some technique to thin out the hair because you're just gonna have like lines, like shelves of layers in this hair. I definitely want it to be like here. We're gonna do the same process. We're gonna put it right here. Oh my God, that's short. I'm gonna cut right above the thing. Why are you cutting below the ponytail? You gotta cut above it. This is crazy, this choppiness. I mean, it's nice, I get it. If I just keep going on with the method, it's gonna come out. If you are trying to cut the length that short and you pull all the hair up here, you're gonna need to have this layer be like that long. Like it's not gonna work like that. <sighs> That's like hundreds of dollars of wig hair just like falling to the floor. <sighs> it hurts me. Cut, damn it. Oh my gosh, you guys. This should be it. This is motherfucking short. Did I cut it too short? Okay, let me not freak out. Oh girl, it's looking choppy. You should be freaking out. This is the exact length that I want. So I'm about to start cutting and shaping it up. So I haven't cut my bangs yet. I wanna like do this hair first. Cause sometimes when you like curl it or whatever the hell you wanna do to it, sometimes you can see it better than it being choppy like this. So I'm gonna cut these a little short. You see how the bang is? I'm not gonna hot comb the bang. I want the bang to have that volume. Um, so this is how it looks. This is cute, but I definitely want it cut a little bit more. This is the finished look. So it is like a mullet, but almost like the 70s style. Um, Cause it's longer in the back and it's like a lot of layers and really short up here But I like the look cuz it's not like your typical like regular just like hairstyle, you know And I feel like it's like really cute. It's not supposed to be perfect. So it's a super cute cut It's much different than what she was wanting though. I don't know how we ended up with like such long hair still She wanted it up to here girl. It's down to here. What happened to this? All different, you know what I mean? The technique was interesting. She really cleans it up though with that cut after. So thank God she did that. Good job. Wolf cuts never cease to amaze me. I don't know how people end up with such great results sometimes. Y'all look mad good. I'm gonna be honest. Good job. Make sure you check out all of my amazing, fabulous hair care and hair color products. They are all linked below at our website, xmodelhair.com. And that is really all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.